Hi friends, welcome to Naresh IT. My name is Natras. In this video, I am going to talk the most regularly used terms of Java, especially in the framework uh, uh, learning process. We come across these terms like anything. What is POSO class? What is POSI? First, let me explain what is POSO class. POSO class means plain old Java object class. You can happily feel like this. Normal class without any specialities is called POSO class. Normal class, ordinary class, simple class without any specialities is called as what? POSO class. POSI, plain old Java interface. Normal interface without any specialities is called what? POSI. Plain old Java interface. What is that? Plain old Java interface. It is an ordinary interface, simple interface without any specialities. Do not call it as POSI interface. Why sir? POSI, plain old Java interface. The last word, the last letter, not the word, last letter I represents interface. And if you say POSI interface, you are using the term interface twice, which is meaningless. So, generally I say something like this. A Telugu guy who is playing cricket match, he generally say catch patuko. Catch means holding the ball, patuko means holding the ball. He will say one word twice, one time in English, one time in English, Telugu. So, there is no need of telling the same word twice. Similarly, if you say posy interface, you are indirectly telling the term interface twice. One is I for interface, again you are explicitly using the term interface one more time. So, that is why you simply say class POSO, interface POSI or POSO class, just POSI, right. If you want to develop lightweight application, if you want to use your framework to develop what lightweight application, definitely they must support POSO and POSI model programming. Because if you do coding with ordinary class and ordinary interfaces without having dependency with technology APIs and framework APIs, definitely what? Those classes are lightweight classes and those applications are lightweight application. So, that is why these are designed to make our applications as lightweight applications. And they are originally introduced in the year 2005 year by Sun Microsystem. Uh, what they say is make programmers to develop ordinary class and ordinary interfaces. On the top of classes, if you want to provide any functionalities, at runtime you take the classes and provide functionalities at runtime. Due to this, the developer of the application always feel that he is working with what? Simple class and simple interfaces ordinary class and ordinary interfaces to develop the application. This gives the feel, okay, application development is happening in what? Lightweight environment. Almost uh, all frameworks, almost all frameworks and all technologies that are designed uh, after 2006-2007 definitely started supporting what? POSO and POSI model programming. Struts 1.x, there is no support for POSO and POSI model programming. Struts 2.x, Spring, Hibernate, some extend web services, some implementations of web services and JSF, okay, definitely give support for what? POSI and POSI model programming. So, that we can say using those frameworks, using those um, technologies, we are able to develop what? Lightweight applications. So, let us start understanding what is POSO class more exclusively. In future our current uh, modern development, many places we are taking support of what? This POSO and POSI model programming in order to make our application as what? Lightweight application. So, let us try to understand what is POSO class. As I said, an ordinary class without any specialities. It is an ordinary, it is an ordinary class without any specialities it is called what POSO class. Definitely it is an ordinary class. Let me give technical uh, definition of it. The class that is not extending from 
technology or framework API class and not implementing technology or what framework API interfaces is called as what POSO class. Though it is used as main component of certain technology application, certain framework application, but if that class is what not extending from that technology specific class, not implementing that technology specific what interface interfaces at the same time not extending from framework specific classes, not implementing framework specific what interfaces, then we call that class as what POSO class. We use POSO class as component or resource of the technology application framework application, but that class is totally loose coupled from what loosely coupled class from what that framework API and technology API such a class is called as what POSO class. So, the Java class that does not implement technology oblique framework API interfaces and does not extend from technology oblique framework framework API class is called POSO class is called what POSO class. So, let me give some examples here, some examples. Yeah, by listening this do not come to one conclusion, uh, POSO class is against of inheritance, POSO class is against of what implementing interfaces, wrong thinking. POSO class supports inheritance, POSO class allows to implement interfaces. Only the thing is that super class of POSO class should not be given by technology API or framework API. Interfaces implemented by POSO class should not be given by what a certain Java technologies or what Java frameworks. It is against of what implementing technology framework API interfaces. It is against of what come on extending from technology or framework API class. This is most important. So, let us see class demo class demo. So, I do not mind calling demo is class demo, demo is what POSO class, it is something like this here. See demo class is not extending from any technology, any framework class, not implementing any technology or any framework interfaces, that is why demo is what POSO class. Sir, it is extending from object class. Nah? In fact, every class default super class is what object class. That is what I said. It is not an against of inheritance. So, let us take one more example. Class demo extends from HTTP Serlet. HTTP Serlet is part of Serlet Technology API. This class is extending from Serlet Technology API. That is why it is not a POSO class. Let me put something like this. Let me put, let me put something like this. Java language. Oops, exception handling, collection, multi-threading, AWT, Sphinx, reflection API, all collections, all these are part of what? Java programming language. Related API is also part of Java programming language. JDBC, Serlet, EZB. Server, JSP, JMS, all these are what? Java technologies. Spring, Hibernate, JSF struts, all these are Java frameworks. So, right now, this is the class given by Servlet API. So, that is why demo is not a POSO class. Demo is a POSO class, not a POSO class, not a POSO class. Class demo implements Java dot RMI dot remote. Demo is not a POSO class. Why sir? It implements one RMI interface. Remote is RMI technology interface. So, that is why it is not a POSO class. Class demo mm, implements 
implements java.io.com on serializable. Class is implementing serializable interface, but serializable interface is part of Java language, not part of any technology, not part of what any framework API. It is given by Java language. So that's why, yes, we can call it as what? Pozo class. Here a demo is what? Pozo class. That's nice. Here I am taking class demo. Extends from extends from thread extends from thread class uh, now tell me thread is part of technology api thread is, thread is part of framework api no it is not part of both it is a part of java language it is part of what java language so that's why we don't mind calling as what demo is a pozo class that's nice hmm. Class demo extends from test. Here, class test. Test is what? Pozo class. Then, demo is what? Demo is what? Pozo class. Both are Pozo classes. So, at least by seeing this, you should come to one conclusion. Pozo class is not against of what? Inheritance. It is against of extending from technology or framework specific classes. It is against of implementing technology or framework specific interfaces. So, let us see this example. Class demo extends what? Test. Okay. Here I am taking class test extends from generic Sarlet. In Java, you know that anything belongs to Super class definitely will be inherited to what? Subclass definitely will be inherited to subclass. No doubt test is not a not a pozo class. Test is not because it is extending from generic select class. Demo is is not a pozo class. Why? Simple reason test is extending from generic surlet and demo is extending from test class. Indirectly, demo is also indirectly extending from what? Generic surlet and generic surlet is part of surlet API. That is why what? Demo is not a POSO class, even test is not a POSO class. So, generally, the point which I want to give here is, generally, we can compile POSO classes without adding any special libraries in the class part. By just using JDK supply libraries, by just working with JDK libraries without adding any special jar, special libraries in the class path, we can compile it. So, that means to compile POSO classes, there is no need of adding what? Any libraries or any jar file to class path. Such a class is called as what? POSO class. But one exceptional case is there. What is that exceptional case, you know? When you mark your class through annotation, even though that annotation is what? Supplied by technology API or framework API. We do not mind calling that class as what? Pozo class. For example, I have a class demo. Here some properties are there. Here I am keeping one annotation called entity. Entity is an annotation given by whom? Hibernate API or GPA API. Technically speaking, JPIP. But still, we call this class as POSO class as, a, as an exceptional case. Why? Because we need not to bother about what annotation we have used. We have to bother about whether that class, okay, whether that class extending or implementing technology or what framework API interfaces or classes. No, it is not doing. That is why we do not mind calling this class as what? Pozo class. So, the annotation is there. Na. Yes, annotation is there, but still we call this class as what? Pozo class. Otherwise, after arrival of annotations, we cannot go for Pozo model programming. Otherwise, we cannot say Hibernate support Pozo model programming while working with what? Annotation. Because we take our uh, domain class or what? BO class of what? Hibernate and we write a lot of annotation. Most of annotations are supplied by JPA. 
uh, for uh, compiling that uh, class definitely some libraries are required, some jars are required. So, that is what I said. Whatever statement I have given regarding class path with respect to POSO class, for that one it is what? An exceptional case, especially while working with annotation, it is exceptional case. So, because of this exceptional case, tell me, demo is what here? POSO class. It is an exceptional case. So, this is about what? POSO class. An ordinary class without any specialities is called as what? POSO class. But if class is having some annotations, like class is annotated with some annotations, then also we call it as what? POSO class as an exceptional case. So, shall we analyze what is POSI? Plain old Java interface. What is this? It is an ordinary interface without any specialities. Without any specialities, it is an ordinary interface, that is it. Technical definition is the interface that is not extending from technology API interfaces or framework API interfaces is called as what? POSI. Technology API interfaces or framework API interfaces is called what? POSI. Though interface is component of certain technology application or framework application, but that uh, interface does not extend from what? that technology specific interfaces or framework specific interfaces that is called what? POSI. For example, I am taking interface as the component of Hibernate application, but interface will not extend from what? Hibernate API specific interfaces. Then that interface will be called as what? POSI. Okay. So, the interface that does not extend from technology oblique framework API, technology oblique framework API, focus concentrate. So, technology oblique framework API interfaces is called POSI. I am taking one interface in Spring application, but that interface is not extending from what? Spring specific API interfaces. We do not mind calling POSI. I am taking a class as the component of the Spring application as the resource of the Spring application, but that uh, class is not extending from Spring API class, that class is not in implementing what? Spring API interfaces, then we do not mind calling that class as what? POSO class. POSO class is what? Loosely coupled class with uh, Java technologies and Java framework. POSI is what? Loosely coupled interface with what? Java in technologies and what? Java frameworks. So, ultimately ordinary classes without any specialities are called POSO classes. Ordinary interfaces without any specialities is called as what? POSIs. So, let me give some examples. Interface demo 1, demo is POSI. Interface, uh, what is that? Demo 1 extends demo 2 interface, what is that? Demo 2. Demo 1 is POSI, no doubt. And demo 2 is also what? POSI. Because both are ordinary interfaces. So, demo 1 is extending from demo 2, but demo 2 is what? Not extending from any technology or framework API interface. So, that is a POSI. Since demo 2 is ordinary interface, that is demo 1 even becomes what? POSI. Right. So, let us see something else interface, interface demo 1 extends from Java dot IO dot serializable, Java dot IO dot serializable. Tell me demo 1 is, demo 1 is what is that? POSI. Demo 1 is what? POSI. Sir, it is extending from some predefined interface. Na? Predefined user that does not matter. That serializable interface is what? JDK supplied one. JDK supplied one means what? Come on. JDK supplied means part of Java language. Happily POSI. If that uh, interface is given by technology or framework, not a POSI. I will give that example also. I will take a interface demo 1 
extends from java dot rmi dot remote. Remote is interface given by whom? RMI technology, technology. It is not part of Java language. So, that is why demo is not a pose. Now, let me give one more thing. What is the note? To compile POSI, there is no need of adding any jar files or any libraries to the class path. It is an ordinary interface which can be compiled without having any special libraries. By using just JDK libraries, we can do compilation. But for this one, one exceptional case. What is that exceptional case? Interface service interface interface service interface some method declaration on the top of it I am writing one annotation that is remote remote annotation this is actually given by EZB API to compile this interface definitely EZB API related jar I have to add to class path or build path that means EZB libraries are required but we never worry about interface uh, annotation that is used we just worry about what come on whether interface is extending from EZB API related interfaces or not no whether interface is using any other technology any other framework API interfaces or not or no that is why we happily call what po uh, service interface is what POSI definitely we need jars Definitely, we need libraries of what? EZB API to compile this. But still, we call it as what? Um, POSI as an exceptional case. Service interface is POSI. What is this? Exceptional case. No doubt, it is what? Exceptional case. This is about what? POSI. So, generally some wrong opinions are there. What is that? You know, if class is extending from user defined class, POSO class, class is extending from predefined class, not a POSO class. That is wrong. User defined or predefined that does not matter. What we have to see is directly or indirectly whether class is dealing with what? Technology or framework API classes are not interfaces are not if dealing not a poso class okay similarly in the posi interface also in the inheritance hierarchy is there any what technology specific or what framework specific interfaces there are not a posi not there are yes we can call it as a posi so that's why don't follow any blind rules over here so, you analyze and based on that you decide whether class is what? POSO class or interface is POSI or not. So, the main intention of this one is, uh, this video is, I want to give clarity about what is POSO class, what is POSI. Because nowadays in all frameworks, we are working with the POSO classes as component uh, interface of type POSI as what component and we are seeing applications are lightweight because of this POSO and POSI model programming. You, then you may ask me if classes are very ordinary, very simple, how the special functionalities will be applied to the classes. Libraries which we are supplying in the application execution, they dynamically generate some classes implementing POSI or extending from POSO classes. In those classes, special APIs will be there, technology specific or framework specific APIs will be utilized to provide those functionalities of technologies and what framework. But overall, as a developer, you will work with what ordinary classes and ordinary interfaces, simple class and simple interfaces to place your what business requirement. Due to this, programmer is very com feels comfortable to develop the classes to use them as what components or resources of the application. So, because of this reason, okay, lightweight application development, lightweight programming is possible with the technologies or framework which support what APIs, which supports what POSO and POSI model programming. So, this is about uh, POSO class and what interface whose type is what POSI. I hope you benefited this with this video. So, you can catch me for more videos in this Naresh IT channel.